kind of feel I'm uh, going to play a few tunes for you and show you around what we think is a very unusual garden it's took us 35 years or thereabouts to put the whole thing together everything that's in the garden has been given us or reclaimed from skips we haven't bought a single thing if people give us things, wood or metal or anything, and it's brand new, we'll use it. But from the beginning, the idea was to build a lot without buying anything, and we haven't bought a thing. So all come from customers and visitors over the years. We've been on television a few times, BBC One, and uh, we've had a lot of letters off people. Some like it and some don't. Art, whether it is or not, we don't know, but we want you to decide, is it art? Or is it just a pile of rubbish? <laughs> You're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> this little dog is uh, Jenny, we've had it about five years, it was abandoned on the M6 motorway and uh, followed, Carl home one, <coughs> followed Carl home one morning and we've had her ever since, she's never done anything wrong, have you baby? How anybody can leave a dog like this I do not know, it amazes me, however that's what people do. We're going to walk around the garden now and we'll let her come in with us around the garden. We'll show everybody what you can see. Come on. Now there's a lot of different buildings on here built at different times over the years but one in particular that really started out as a joke but has turned out to be really quite a serious thing and that is our little church in the distance, I don't know if you can see it or not. It was made from all bricks from outside lavatories that builders have brought us and we've rendered over it and it was just a, a mock pretend church but there's a big difference over the years people come to this church and treat it as a real church should be treated in the way that they light a candle in remembrance of a loved one or when a member of the family dies they sign the visitors book and put God be with you to the friends so then we realized that it was no longer a joke and every day somebody comes on the garden from somewhere in the country and lights a candle. Even when we had the big snow, eight inches of snow we had on here in winter, and people come and still lit a candle, which to us is a very serious thing. It makes you realise that it's called All Faith Church, and it really is. You can come here and have any religion you want, it's up to you. You have your own God when you're in here, and it's not a joke. So we're going to take you inside and show you some of the furnishings which have all been given us by the um, visitors over the years. And it's a very nice place inside. A lot of people say it's got an atmosphere with it and I think it has. We sometimes come in at night and uh, light a candle and the beams light up. It really is, it's unusual. We have a little church across the road, the Holy Trinity. A beautiful little church, it was built in uh, the mid 1800s. And strangely enough, we get more visitors than that church over the length of a week. And it makes you think, don't it? So we'll go and have a look inside. Come over here and have a look for yourselves. 
Right now we're inside the little church. Have a look round and look at it. I mean, could it be anywhere? Could it be some country church in the Lake District? It could be anywhere really. This is the visitor's book. And if you read all the things that people put in, it really is amazing. The lovely things they say is unbelievable. It was amazing, my favourite place, in remembrance of my darling husband. Things like that. You can't, um, you can't get past it. And the places they come from to visit us as well. We've even had a fella from Egypt. We've got Australia here, Perth, New York City, Australia again, different places. And they all come and they just light a candle. And this Bible, it gets turned and turned the pages all the day. This is about 1840 Bible, given to us like everything else is. All these, all given us all pieces. These have come from the uh, Lewards. The tabletop is made of uh, scaffolding planks. These, and that's the back of an old cupboard. These are the um, the sticks on your staircase, uh, the thing on your underneath you as you're going upstairs. These are the, the rails. That's all they are, just the rails. That's off over the top of an archway on a terraced house, to, uh, uh, over the window to stop the rain going in the front door. So we use that. The lamp. Candlesticks have been brought. We don't know who brings these things. We come in at night and then you see something that somebody's brought. Somebody brought all these down. We can't throw them away. We can't throw them away. They're not ours to throw away. They come back a year later. They come back a year later and think, where's that little, that doll that I brought? The stained glass windows. It's endless. Art, whether it is or not, we don't know, but we want you to decide, is it art or is it just a pile of rubbish? <laughs> Or is it just a pile of rubbish? <laughs> You're going to find out.